All right, guys, so here's the crayler train. Our crayler train. Trailer crane? Holy hell. Made some big improvements to it, but I am now switching it off. That was never the end. I, I, I just come up with a different game plan. It's, I'm gonna switch it to my main trailer. Um, I'm, but this is coming off here now, and it is gonna be mounted to the other trailer. Um, this Bauer Impact, electric impact is nice. I got this for my birds unbolted, but before I pulled it out, I wanted to show you guys you remember the old bracing that you seen earlier here is the new bracing i took a one of the skis that was originally on this trailer and slammed it all the way back into the actual frame itself you could see over there where i beat the hell out of it with a hammer to get it to go in i'm gonna try to pull this out and use this frame slab for um oh shit i don't have wheels chucked um for my other trailer is the game plan but yeah that's what we ended up doing i used this bracket also and uh that's it so we're gonna be doing some welding and stuff on the on the other one but i really wanted to show you guys this before i took it off um i did some crazy stuff that crane and uh, I, I even with the new improvements I just the other day I mounted it and uh, yarded a log uh, from back there a cedar log I had and um, yeah just major improvements right. turn this off that I don't like I was able to put you know but we put this to one side it was twisting the trailer the other brackets almost pulled out of the floor i actually think they may have been on the other side not very good i didn't like the placement so i switched it this worked really good it's just the trailer itself is so light it wanted to flip when i would get to using stuff so we use like a, a trailer jack our jack stand on on one corner and then the trailer jack i'd put down two as i was using it and it would keep it from wanting to roll but that system i'm going to take the toolbox back off it's going to go down here it's going to help store some of the stuff for the crane that you'll see and the crane is going to mount here that way i could i could swing it around here but mainly it'll be running off the towards the back end of the trailer but i want to be able to pull stuff if it was sideways or over there and i also want to be able to lift if i need to and swing stuff over but um yeah but, um, that's it yeah all that's coming up and i'll show you guys that when we get to it we'll be doing some welding and some other stuff so just wanted to show you the uh the next step on the framing the end product is going to be really nice so just wanted to show you guys that give you an update and uh i'm going to get back to work on it So this is what's up right now um it is kind of rainy nasty pretty shitty outside as far as weather but um i didn't want to get too many what i'm doing there i didn't want to get too many videos in between the truck crane video before i showed you guys the uh what you know what come of it so it is completely different than it was totally honest I'll have to go back and watch the old video to see 
I've, I've, I've changed it so much that I'll have to go back and look at the old video to see what it looked like then. But my neighbor, um, I was looking for some angle iron to, cause I did some welding on it, um, to weld some bracing to it because I actually broke one of the braces. And uh, he was nice and brought me over like a 12 foot piece of angle iron. And he just bought this place here. So the last guy who owned it actually had a pretty good size elm log that's like setting in the yard. And he doesn't want it. So we're gonna take the truck crane, AKA trailer crane up here for its first attempt at hauling a log. Figured I'd take you guys for the first one. If it screws up, then it screws up. If it doesn't, awesome. All right, let me go show you guys this. I gotta be careful here. I'm in my wife's truck. She'd kill me if I get it all nasty. All right, so first let me show you the log. Pretty big um, elm log. It's I don't know, probably two and a half foot across, maybe a little more that way. But um, neat shape. Thinking about carving it into a big long flower okay. pot. So the trailer. Here it is. First, we'll go ahead and you guys can watch me set these. Um, set the ramps up. Well, apparently my stupid SD card messed up and uh, stopped recording. But here we go. Now, these things originally, I just bent them up. They originally set down in these grooves here, and uh, but it would hit this bump. I made a solid steel back for this trailer so that it doesn't rip the boards up. Now, let's do this and get it over with because I gotta get out of here in case a neighbor comes. Down in here. We have a hidden solenoid back in here. Solenoid back in there. Big marine battery. All we do, come over to it. Hook the positive up real quick. And we're working. Then we're live with it. Get a few tools out. Things to hook up. Okay. Now, up here, I'll show you guys the setup. There it is. We got a hidden button right here, which will relieve some tension. Unhook it off here where it mounts. Now we're free. Spin that around. This whole thing moves freely. So, what we're going to want is to get some lift on this thing because of the way that this thing is designed it's designed to lift up into this instead of out that way so we gotta get some lift on this there it is i welded all this stuff with a flux welder so those of you who have never tried a flux welder it's got built-in gas on the wire it was only a hundred dollars for the dam for the uh, welder so money wise it was well worth it but our wires are hidden they run out of that come around here through there's a brace here there there and there and you can see some of the welds are not too bad they've been painted over you know we're welded put some bracing into the trailer this whole piece this piece and this and beamed it all together and that's it that's the setup we switched to a 3500 pound winch too so now let's hook this thing up and see if we can pull it and i had already rolled this stump or this uh log and prepped it put it up against the stump here so that i could 
actually get a strap around it. Apparently I already disengaged it. My bad. All right, so we get here. Hook that up. Oh, we're hooked up there. I'm gonna bring you guys back here to show you. I have also a plug in here to plug in a remote that's got a 15 foot cord so I can go back there if I need. But uh, for right now, we're just gonna do it from right here. of it being pulled by right here all right so this is what I'm gonna do There it is. That's a pretty good size log. Yeah. Trailer winch did really good. We're still actually hooked up now. Uh, I had it set on the middle setting. Could have brought it all the way in. A little stronger. But we wanted the lift so this thing's designed to lift this way and if you leave it down you're actually pulling on it and it grinds up in there and tears your cable up so a little bit of crappy welding up underneath there i did Ooh, they don't look so hot them welds whatever um that's it guys hope you uh kind of understood what i did there made myself one of these took the pins out carter pins put regular pins so i can pop it out use it for redirects and stuff for the uh for the winch so yeah
What I'm gonna do with that, you see how it's got a high side here. I'm actually gonna take it just like it almost is there, maybe roll a little bit this way, the rest of that bark off so it shows all the dips in the wood and flares. Um, as you can see the flares on these on these ends real good. And the center looks like it's got some dead in it anyway, but uh you can really see the flares down here. But I'm gonna take this and spin it around. And then put it there up against that brick wall with the high side down here and the low side down there and even it and then use it to put flowers and junk in. That's it guys. Go ahead and disconnect the uh, positive cable so that we don't run the battery down. away from any metal. And that battery is mounted in there stationary. It's got some angle iron that holds it into place. Yeah, that's it, guys. Tell me what you think. How I did. That's it.